All right, welcome to my first race analysis of the year. So I would love to show GoPro footage, but if you don't know, British Cycling do not allow any GoPro footage. They might be changing this, I hope, this year. Um, but I do have a bit of footage at the end of the sprint. Um, but yeah, anyway, we'll go through the footage. So it was Bristol South Road Race, which is close to me. Uh, fat man climbing, almost 1,500 meters of climbing, 80K, um, two hours, and um, there was quite a strong wind. So here is the circuit here, as you can see. So neutral, we sort of start here, went up the neutral, so basically the race started here. Down a hill, up this sort of crosswind, so the wind's coming across this way the whole time. Um, very strong headwind on this part here, uh, and then sort of crosswind here, uh, and then sort of cross tail up here, and then massive tailwind down here, and then crosswind here, obviously. Um, so basically the main feature of the hill is this, the main feature of Corsair is this three minute climb here, sort of a bit draggy here, fast downhill, turn the corner, crosswind, climb, go down a really fast descent, which is this part here, and then there's sort of a bit of rollers here, but into a massive headwind. Um, so in terms of the race numbers, 290 normalized or 277 Strava weighted average power. Um, Strava weighted average power is always a little lower. Um, so 290 normalized is like decent, but nothing crazy. Max heart rate 201, um, 82K an hour, um, max power 954. Um, so I guess what happened in the race, um, it's similar to what I showed before, but basically what happens is that you, up each climb, um, we sort of had a little effort. So uphill reps, it was sort of like 340 to 370 each time. Um, and within each lap, the first sort of section wasn't too hard. And then as it got up to, um, uh, past the corner here on the steepest part so you sort of got down to 13k an hour it was a real sprint and then up this part here where it was just a last little kick again it kicked up again um so in general each lap was a uh, raced pretty um not really that aggressively uh one guy went from the gun he decided it was a uh, he wanted the KOM prize and um he did get that indeed uh because he was just on his own um but you can look at the sort of power that we were doing each lap um sorry my results and it, it wasn't that crazy so you can see um, 392 watts for three minutes it's it's not that much um, but obviously lap after lap um, it does get tiring um, so we'll go into the main the main part of the race basically was the break um, so I don't know sorry I've got the wrong thing uh, but basically what happened was I did drop my chain wasn't in a great position so I had to chase back on um, so I wasn't in a great position for this but basically what happened is Nick Livermore and Rob Pears, who are both very strong time trial guys. Um, and whenever I race them, Nick Livermore, he was my minute man and overtook me after like five minutes in like a 20 mile time trial or something. Like it was embarrassing. He was so much stronger than me. Um, but yeah, so he, him, Rob Pears, and um, another guy from the Uni of Bath attack. So you can see this is the big attack um, basically on this. So go around here. Um, oh no, sorry. Wait, what? Yeah, so this was the big attack here. Um, so basically over this, accelerate out the corner, and then over the top of this, you can see the speed is really slow, hits 1,300 watts, and then goes across here. And this crosswind section part here um, was really, really hard. Um, he was sort of doing 500 watts for a minute um, on this crosswind section. So the wind is going madly left to right. Everyone was in the gutter, obviously. We only race on the left-hand side of the road, so everyone's sort of on the white line, pretty sketchy. Um, and yeah, so I just couldn't get across. And then on this part here, I then decided, you know what, I will um, launch a little attack. Um, so you'll see, I believe, oh, the thing is with this, it's so complicated to tr try and remember the laps. I believe it's this one here. Um, yeah, I just launched an attack here to try and get some distance, but everyone just follows me, so I'm like, nah, I'm, um, I'm just gonna chill and then they basically solo away and then we have a little sprint. Um, but we can watch the race. Um, you can have live race footage on Strava. Um, just select everyone. Um, obviously some people won't have done the race, um, but you'll be able to see roughly what happened each time. So you start off with 70 people or so, um, and you'll just see people getting spat and spat uh, every lap. Basically that's how it's happened. We'll speed up a little bit because we don't wanna be here all day. Um, but you can see every lap um, people were just yeah, cheerio, I'm spat, uh, and basically up that climb. Um, it sort of took a lot of time. You can see the group starting to spread out more. Um, there's more attacks going. People are, you know, getting a bit attack, um, a bit more attack. But yeah, in the second last lap, that was really when I decided to split it because I was just bored of waiting in the pack the whole time. But you can see this is what this is. It was sort of a race of attrition. Nothing really happened, and then you suddenly see some people will get up the road, um, and that about this lap here. Um, there they go up the road. 
and um, we never really got back to them. Um, so this is the second last um, one, second last uh, ascent of the climb is coming here, um, and that's where I decide that it's time to attack. And you can see it suddenly gets strung out a lot more. Um, people are really struggling. Um, and then when it comes to the final sprint, that was where I got fourth. So there were three guys up the road, um, and I managed to get fourth in the sprint. So it's a decent sprint. Um, and anyway, we'll go over to the little sprint, um, and you'll be able to see uh, what happened. So basically, um, big attack. Well, so going around the corner, so sort of sprint up, and this is mainly like not actually that hard, so sort of just generally tempo. And then from here, this is really where it starts to kick up a bit more. You can see it's 8%, 500 meters, um, 471 watts. And so I was just following, just following, and then just kicked up here. Um, and then that was pretty much it. I sort of knew I had the win as soon as I attacked. Um, but yeah, so anyway, I'll now show you some race footage of the last bit, and you'll be able to see some with some power overlay. Um, and anyway, there we go. Go on, James, go on!